Hi, this is Daniel Hudson, and today I want to do a special video for my new subscriber, Trent Martin. As requested, I decided I'd do another video especially for him, and today we are going to touch base about my own thoughts about the 1950s Cinderella and the 1994 Lion King. Okay, so, now, I've never actually done any Disney animated movie reviews before, so, I might be a little bit new at this, but, have no fear, because, I'm gonna tell you my thoughts, about both those movies as best as I can and explain a little bit of some plot points. Okay, so first off we have 1950s Cinderella. Okay, so all of you guys probably know that Walt Disney himself was, you know, creating a lot, a lot of animated movies for Disney around the 1950s decade. So, one of those classics from 1950s happens to be the original animated Disney Cinderella. Okay, so I don't really have to go like all in the detail about the story of Cinderella because, I mean, most of the time you can say that we're pretty familiar with how the story of Cinderella goes. So I'm not going to spend too much on it, but I'm going to just tell you my own words about how that story goes, for those who might not remember. Okay, so you know in Cinderella, basically what happens is there's this girl, and then she has a couple evil stepsisters, and then, yeah, then... She feels upset about, you know, not being allowed to go to the ball until suddenly there's a fairy godmother, right? Okay, so the fairy godmother helps this girl out and then gets her a dress, gets her a carriage, and then she goes off to the ball. Okay, but that's not all. We also have, in that movie, we also have... The part where, you know, she arrives at the ball, and later she runs into the prince. And then, one of the important elements we all know about Cinderella is when she was trying to go home, she had lost her glass slipper. And then, the fairy godmother said, don't, don't be late. Or, so then, don't be any later than midnight, or everything will turn back to the way it was. So, okay, so then when Cinderella noticed that she had to leave and go home, yeah, like again, like I said before, she lost the slipper. But then later the following day, the prince finds the slipper, and then is like, who does this wonderful slipper belong to? So then the prince goes out on a, on a mission to try to find out the girl who was at the ball that wore this one slipper. Okay, so then basically, you know, after that, you all know what happens in the end. It's a happily ever after. So yeah, that's that movie, okay? So I basically explained that story in a little less than 10 minutes. Okay, so then you also have the classic from 1994. You have Lion King. Okay, so most of us would have seen the new remake of the Lion King, but... A lot of people 
would have to say that the old one from 1994 was a little better. Okay, so basically, you know, if you remember in The Lion King, basically what happens is this. Okay, so you have, um, it all opens up. Uh, na, 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 na. And then you have the circle of life around this big giant rock where they where they uh, introduce the new prince who is happens to be Simba and then you know things happen and stuff and of course at some point Simba goes out exploring and then even though Simba wasn't allowed to go to this one spot, goes up, he goes out there anyway. And then next thing you know, later in the movie, then you have Simba. He's out on his own, and he meets a warthog thing. Pumba, and then you also had a meerkat named Timon. Okay, so you have Pumba and Timon, and they end up becoming close friends with Simba. And Simba, Timon, and Pumba, they're, you know, hanging out, and then, you know, then they do the Kuna Matata. And then after they do the Kuna Matata, then later, then um, Simba's friend finds him, and then Simba's friend tells Simba about what's happened to the rest of the other lions since he was absent. And so, then, eventually then, Simba has to make a choice. Does he stay with his friends, Pumba and Timon? Or does he go back and try to fix things the way that they were before? Okay, so then he chooses the later one. And so then he goes back. And tries to reclaim his rightful place as leader or king of the lions. And so, then there's this, then there's this very intense lion fight scene. And then, and then at the end everything's happy. And Simba becomes a new king, and everybody does the circle of life again. And then, then the movie closes. So yeah, guys, that's just a couple of my thoughts, and just a little bit of my explanations and thoughts about what happened with the 1950 classic Cinderella and the 1994 classic Lion King. So... I hope you guys enjoyed that, and if you guys get a chance, please subscribe to my channel, and if you have any other ideas for movies you want me to explain my thoughts or knowledge of, please share those down in my comments, and if you guys get a chance, again, please subscribe to my channel, and I might have another couple videos tonight, so you never know. So. Stay tuned for the next videos, because I might be doing them tonight, or sometime tomorrow, or in the, or in the near future. So, alright guys, you guys have a nice night. Bye.